Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, I want to talk about uh, one of the most uh, important lessons uh, that uh, you want to learn as a designer, and that is the importance of uh, leveraging wireframes in the right scenarios. See, there's going to be times uh, where you are going to simply want uh, to create uh, a landing page or an app uh, straight away and uh, go directly into the UI design. But other times, uh, wireframes uh, are essentially going to help you both uh, speed up the process and also avoid a lot of time and effort from uh, both your personal standpoint and uh, the business. Uh, because uh, it's uh, essentially a tool which uh, enables you to be in sync uh, with uh, both your team and stakeholders uh, with uh, the high level picture. And uh, as designers uh, and uh, developers, it's uh, so easy for us uh, to get fixated on uh, the details such as uh, selecting the perfect color or adjusting uh, the right uh, typeface and font size and creating these uh, beautiful dribble-like uh, pictures uh, which uh, are essentially going to be useless unless there is uh, a solid strategy behind it. So this is uh, where wireframes uh, really come uh, into play. Now, when should you use a wireframe? The answer is uh, whenever you need it to communicate a concept from a high level in a short amount of time and get agreement on that high level picture. So for example, say that I'm working on a landing page for a client and I kind of have an idea of what the content is going to look like because they provided me some basic ideas, but I don't really have a clear detailed view on uh, how I should structure the layout or what is uh, the content uh, going to be in details and uh, what is the call to action going to be like and you know what are the menus and you know the image maybe you have like three different ideas that we could explore so this is when uh, wireframes could uh, really come uh, uh, handy so I could use a wireframe uh, around these lines and uh, maybe uh, just uh, quickly note down uh, these uh, two ideas that I have uh, for the um, for the client and I just noticed that that one didn't catch up and as you can see uh, maybe we can discuss uh, okay here we could have uh, a play video with uh, um, explaining you know the basics uh, of the app uh, and with this idea we also have uh, everything uh, uh, above the fold so it's very easy to see and understand the right way plus we could also sneak in some uh, social proof uh, while with this other idea although it looks more clean uh, we are not going to show the entire picture likely above the fold uh, plus uh, adding social proof uh, maybe it's going to be more tricky maybe the user is going to have to scroll down a bit more so you you see the the glimpse of it while if uh, on the other side uh, you went uh, and uh, designed these uh, in a pixel perfect manner that is totally fine but uh, there, there's going to be a, a lot of more time investment that you're going to need in order to create uh, these uh, two visuals in a picture perfect in a pixel perfect uh, way so you can see how this uh, is uh, essentially a tool for speed and efficiency and uh, we use it all the time uh, uh, the company that I'm working it's uh, in the eight figures scaling up quite rapidly and uh, speed is the name of the game so it's, it's uh, really important I would say uh, also for startups for sure because startups uh, need to work fast so instead of spending a day in creating a concept you can actually create a wireframe in uh, probably like 20 30 minutes in comparison and uh, you can uh, share this with uh, maybe the founder of the company if it's a small company or the management team and uh, you can easily also leverage this uh, wireframe kits there's like plenty on uh, figma community uh, for free and, uh, and there's also premium ones uh, like the ones that you're you're looking at right now uh, which is a uh, look scout so shout out to them for creating this uh, beautiful arranged wireframe. But uh, the point is, regardless of uh, the approach, you can even, uh, and this is something that I 
done very often in the past. Uh, I could even just use uh, you know rectangle blocks, uh, and uh, this is really doesn't take uh, you know too much time to to create. Uh, as you can see, I can literally like mock up uh, something in a in a very fast way. I could use uh, maybe like noun projects uh, for um, for adding you know image icons, things of that nature. I can drag and drop it, and boom, I have my wireframes. Like they can literally be as bare bones as this uh, if it communicates the high level concept. And then of course, there's going to be times where you're going to want. Uh, Maybe some more high fidelity wireframes, and uh, you're going to want to go into the nitty gritty and you know figure out uh, maybe like the the title, the typeface. You can even add some some text. It's uh, all going to be a tool that you have at your disposal, and uh, you can leverage. But then you're going to have to make uh, the the shots if you wish. So hope uh, this uh, video was helpful. And uh, I want to encourage you to experiment with uh, what you just learned. So hop on Figma, go on Figma community, download a wireframe and uh, uh, maybe ask ChatGPT to create a uh, design brief for you for a landing page or for an app. You know, you can, the same principle applies uh, for both uh, websites and apps. So it's uh, not really uh, going to change in uh, that regards. And then uh, go ahead and experiment and, and figure out what uh, uh, it is that uh, you're trying to achieve uh, and um, try to create uh, a vision for it, uh, show it to someone else, and uh, you're going to see the power of uh, this uh, um, communication tool. So again, really hope this video was helpful and uh, I'm going to share more videos on this topic uh, very soon. And uh, also the course uh, is uh, about to get wrapped up. So depending on when you're seeing this video, maybe it's uh, already down in the link in the description. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, been, uh, it's been over a year that I've been working on, uh, on the course lineup. So uh, if you want to level up your design skills, definitely check it out. But without further ado, we'll continue on the next